straight. And this kept going straight, and that kept going that way, apparently. So this was apparently the corner right here. This whole area right here is the corner the center, city center. All right. High Plains Prospectors, Terp, Scrap Iron, Kevin, Tyler. I don't know if I aimed those at you guys. I'll just pull not, off here, man. Pull off right here. We are back to uh, our location where there is basically this is a ghost town. It looks different, doesn't it, without the yeah. grass? <laughs> All right, we're out here hitting this lot that finally got bailed. Got a call from the uh, owner recently and let us know that it was ready to metal detect. Been out here for probably 10 minutes or so. Haven't found anything extraordinary yet, but everybody's digging targets. A lot of targets out here. Stay with us and we'll uh, show you what we find. We're hoping it's gonna be All a good right, day hunting. said he has a good target over here. You can see it right there. It looks like it's got a pin of some sort or, a, gosh dang, it looks like a pin would have gone there. I don't know. For the back of a metal maybe or a, I'm guessing bronze or yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Copper. It'll clean up okay. I don't that's see anything definitely. on it, but that's cool. Sweet. Scrap iron has a good signal on the AT Gold. And your solid 84. Sounds deep. Let's see what it is. I think you, I think you got it out. <laughs> Probably like three inches deep. Yeah. Never do that whenever you dig a plug and then you look at the bottom of it and then you flip it over and it's just right on the surface. It's a barber. What year? Oh, 19 0. It's 19, huh? 1903. So that's sometime way after. Woo! Way after this town was here. guys 32 caliber st louis is that right josh 32 st but uh you can see it's got just a funky shape to it all right so uh we're gonna do a little relocating here uh we talked to the owner whenever we came up and he had told us that a guy had metal detected this corner out here that was actually a uh military encampment and found quite a bit of stuff so he told us where it's at and uh, we're more than welcome to go metal detect it so we're going to hit it up and if I understand him correctly it's just right over here in this corner of this field freshly baled easy metal detecting all right finally found a target worth pulling the camera out for I didn't think it really was I thought it was just a big piece of iron and it is but it is a super cool old axe head That's very neat. It's got a little nail notch in it. It's in great condition, too. <laughs> Find a lot of axe heads, but not a lot of them like that. I'm not 100% sure what kind it is or exactly what era. I know we're on a pretty old property. If anybody does, comment. If I don't find out between now and the time I publish this video. Cool. Well, there's some targets. This is supposedly where there was a army encampment somewhere on this corner. We really haven't hit a hot spot yet, although we know it's been metal detected before. All right, so we're out metal detecting in our field and the neighbor property. We did not have permission to hunt previously. Uh, the owner of the property came by and told us we can hit this property. And it's an abandoned house, owns a lot just to the west of where we were metal detecting, which is an old ghost town, large property, and we just obtained permission to hunt 
another portion of it. So uh, three property owners, we got permission from all of them, and it opens up years of metal detecting ground. So we're pretty fortunate digging up, actually dug up some modern clad. There's targets everywhere around this, pro this property. We do know that this one was on the map way back in the late 1800s. It's obviously been updated and remodeled several times since, probably added on to as well. But uh, it was, there was a structure on the old map. So uh, we're gonna hit it up, it opens up some more ground for us. It's awesome, we're having a good day so far. Uh, it's not too hot out. So uh, good day to get out here in Metal Tech and try to find some treasure. Scrap Iron says he has a good target over here. You can barely hear toss his, that out. His phone's out of juice. Where is See it? Right on top there, the mound. Wow. Oh. Is it a round ball? I don't know. I haven't caught done anything with it yet. It's because you guys are close. No. Oh. Well, that's a perfect ball. Big one. Oh, cool. Look at oh, that. Wow. That thing looks like he just dropped out of his pocket. Look it. Got some. It's got a perfect a really round line all the way around it. Hmm. Oh, well, not all the way. Cut through. I noticed that. It's got little, where it was cast. little holes that are in like a line, too. I know, look at that. It's like, hmm. To clean it up. Yeah. Found this piece and about 20 feet away, found that piece that matched. Oh! Yeah, oh. Did you get that one? Yeah, I found that over in the corner. Ha 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 ha, that's an house. awesome one. That's in good shape. Yeah, yeah, I, I just dropped that, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. Josh Round ball. Found this axe right here. That was kind of neat. Sure, yeah. this is. I bet, I'm starting to think it was a like a plow point. Yeah, you might be right. It looks like it's, both of those pieces. Looks like it's tape we're right uh, down. we relo relocated to another spot where we believe there were some structures on this old map. We're still within the boundaries of this ghost town on the third owner's property. Found some pretty neat stuff so far. Nothing extremely unique, but a little silver and uh, some relics, so some awesome bullets we'll show you here at the end. Not doing too bad, but we're just kind of exploring. This is our first time here, so we're still kind of trying to get the lay of the land. Hopefully we can find where the old structures were, maybe some foundations. Travis is over where there are some rocks. That might have been one. Let you know what we come up with. Hoping this might be a bullet of some sort. Thought I'd get it on here. Live dig. Grab my Garrett Pro pointer. Looks like a thimble. Yeah, silver thimble. Really? Yeah. What about the tip from the other one we found? I don't know. It definitely it's boom. Crazy. It definitely cleans up when you wipe it. Sweet. On live dig. Nice. I'm with the AT Gold. And uh, I just think it gets a lot of depth. So. About it. All right, we got back home and cleaned up our finds for the day. Uh, as you can see, we dug a fair amount of big iron objects, which we were actually doing on purpose this time because in sites like we we're hunting today, you can find some really neat iron objects. As you can see here, big spike, random pieces. Kevin found these two pieces that match together probably 20 yards apart. It's pretty neat. I believe that's part of a wagon wheel, maybe. If anybody knows, comment. My favorite find of today, this axe head. I'm not exactly sure what that's used for. I'm, I'm sure just general work around the farm. Travis cleaned up today, finding several bullets, 36 caliber, St. Louis, 
pistol ball. Found a couple of those. One looks like about a quarter of one, almost perfectly quartered, which was neat. I, what I believe is a Sharps bullet. I'm not an expert. I got a book coming that'll teach me more modern bullets. What looks to be like another 50 cal. Tyler found a pretty neat find today, and it's a flat button. We'll see if we can determine what it says. It does have a little writing on the back. It's kind of hard to read. And, you know, some random balls. One of them, I think, is probably my favorite. It literally looks as though someone maybe was biting this. I can imagine somebody getting a surgery or amputation biting the bullet. This one's really unique because it has a, kind of a line cut around it, too. Pretty neat. All in all, we had a pretty good day. Got access to some new property. We're happy with what we found. Looking forward to go back to the site. Thanks for watching our videos. Stay tuned. Don't forget to visit our website at www.highplainsprospectors.com where you can find the finest in metal detecting and treasure hunting supplies.